Hello and welcome to another Visual Basic tutorial with Hellfire 1997. Now last time I told, showed you how to create an array to move our aliens around the screen like so and this time I'll be showing you how to use labels to fire shots at our invaders. Now first, why is it? Done that again. Invaders. I don't know why he keeps asking me to change the text to the form. So first, we want to get a label. We want to change the back colour of it to white. Just remove any text out of it. Move up and to auto size, change it from true to false. This just lets us change it to whatever we would like to be and so to make a decent size we want it to be fairly small to make it look fairly realistic so about 520 ought to do so yep yeah, it will just it'll fit there so we want six of these five for our actual shots and one to reset the location of them which I will demonstrate later so select our label and just copy and paste it two three four five six so if we set change the name of this one to restart shot and then just rename these to shot one shot two shot three and so on shot three shot four and shot five you don't have to rename them it just makes it easier when you refer to them in the code so now if we just move them back down here into our picture box just so it looks like it's come out of our, our ship let's try and aim this up right mm, bit more perfectionist and always and that's good enough now if we come down change the visible setting to false because we don't actually want our users or the people playing our game to actually see the shots all the time only when they're fired so we make them invisible and then we just need to move all our shots down to this location so just copy and paste this one two three four and five Now we've got our labels in the right place we want to go into our code and we want to create some variables we want more boolean as with here so we want to dim fire as boolean dim fire one as boolean and we basically want to dim fire and fire one to five as boolean so we've got a we've got a boolean variable for each um, shot which basically allows us to determine which shot is being fired at any one time fire 5 as boolean 
now we've created that we want to come into our key presses now here we've told it to change left and rig boolean to true or false to move our ship around so we want to do something similar for our fire shots so if we type in e dot if e dot key value equals keys dot l for example then it will do this piece of code as I showed in my previous video we can make fire equal true and to stop it if e dot key code equals keys dot l then fire equals false so basically when the people playing our game want to fire they have to press l now obviously nothing will happen yet because all we're doing is change a boolean so if we come down to timers we want to do this what we want to do is we want to tell it to move the shots with the ship when we move the ship however we only want it to move the shots if they haven't been fired so if we were to do shot one dot left equals shot one dot left minus three then it would move the label However, even after our shot was fired, then it would continue to move the label with the ship. So, we use our boolean. If fire1 one, e fire one equals false, then shot1 dot left equals shot1 dot left minus three. So, basically what this is saying is only fire only move the shot one left if it has not been fired if the variable fire one equals false and basically we want to do this for each shot for each of our variables it's the same it's the same piece of code just different variable names and component names and now we just want to do the same to move the shot right now you can copy and paste the code it's kind of asking for trouble but it does speed it up just be warned that the more you copy and paste code the more likely you are to make a mistake especially with greater amounts of copy and paste so here luckily all we've got to change is the minus 3 to a plus 3 so it moves the shots to the right and not to the left so now if we were to run our program it would move the shots with our spaceship However, we wouldn't actually see them because they are still invisible. So, what we want to do now is this. We want it to do this. So, we create a new subroutine for this. Pri private sub check shot. And we just tell timer to come to this subroutine check shot and we want to do fire equals false now the reason for this is if we were to leave it as true it would fire all the shots at once because our interval our timer is so short just holding down the key for a very short amount of time would fire all the labels at once so this basically stops it from firing more than one label pair button click so we do fire equals false if fire one equals false then 
by a one equal true shot one dot show exit sub now the reason we try to exit the subroutine is because otherwise it will carry on to make all the other boolean equal to true and that would mean that it would just fire all the shots once again so we just want to do this five times but with the different variables and components Now this is basically showing our shots and changing the boolean to true. So for example fire 1 when they press the fire button it changes fire 1 boolean from false to true and shows the label which means the person playing the game will now be able to see the label and also it means when they move their ship about the boolean is no longer equal to false so it won't move the shot left and right. However, now we have to tell our program to move the shot up. So if we create another subroutine for this, so we're not clogging up our timer, private sub move shot, and we come back up to our timer and stick that in here, move shot. We want to do if fire one equals true then shot one dot top equals shot one dot top minus three now we want to do this for all our shots Now, if we were to run the program, then all start game, and it fires all our shots at once, and I know why. We have told it to come straight to this subroutine every time on our timer, actually, so it instantly changes them all to false. We need to change this bit. If fire equals true, then go to this subroutine and if so basically this is saying only if the boolean fire equals true then go to this subroutine to change the boolean to fire the shot so if we were to work this time it worked perfectly however we only get the five shots because we've only put in five labels and none of them get reset or interact for the aliens because we haven't told them to yet so I am now going to show you how we can reset it if the shots were to miss all the aliens I'm going to show you how we can change that what we do is we come into our code that moves the shots upwards shot one dot top equals shot one dot top minus three if shot one dot top is less than zero then we do this code shot one dot hide so it hides the shot fire one equals false so it will stop moving the shot upwards and start moving it left and right with our ship we do shot one dot location equals restart shot dot location now basically what this piece of code does is it takes the shot one dot top value and the shot one dot left value and makes it equal to the dot top and dot left values of our restart shot that is why we put in that sixth label so that we can 
move them the hour shots back into the location that they should be so now if we were to run our program it should move shot one back to the start so fire shot one off it goes they get to the top now if we try firing all five there we go shot one is back so now we just want to repeat this code for the rest of them Now, if we now that we've inserted the rest of our code, if we were to run our program again, then it should work. So firing our shots, and here we go. We're able to continuously fire them. Now, next time. I will be showing you how to do collision detection with our aliens so that when our shots hit the aliens it will actually remove them, hide them from the screen and then reset the shot location and that will be all for now. This has been Hellfire1997 and thanks for watching.